Now, listen to this, yeah? God has said in the Quran, I will not make an oath by the positions of the stars. And it's a great oath. But you are not yet aware of this. Addressing the people of Muhammad, peace be upon him, time, saying to them, God, when God make an oath by something in the Quran, means that something worthy to think, worthy to, to ponder and to think what it is, what is behind it. And God is saying, what you see basically, when you look up, you look to the positions of the star. And Allah says to them, Allah means the one God, by the way, says to those people, they said, you are not yet aware of this. You're not yet aware of this information. The question is, who taught Muhammad, an illiterate man, at that time about this information? Could be coincident, could be. Let's think about another thing. What is the deepest point any diver could dive 1400 years ago? Tell me, yes. You have been to the ocean? Yeah? What is the deepest point could dive up with normal equipment 1400 years ago? Oh, about it, maybe 20, 30, whatever, 30 meters at max. Yeah? Would anyone will have the information what's happening deep inside the ocean? So listen, God has said in the Quran, those who, who are away from the guidance of God, like someone who's deep in the bottom of the ocean, above him there is a wave, above the wave there is another wave, above the sea there is a cloud. Even if he took his hand out of his pocket, he will be unable to see it. Darkness upon darkness. So God is describing certain type of darkness. God could say those who are away from the guidance of God, they live in pitch dark, they, are, they live in darkness. That's it. That's sufficient information to know to stay away from the misguidance. Simple as that. But God described certain type of darkness, describing this darkness, layers of darkness. So when the sunlight comes to on earth, and if, the, if it's a cloudy weather, like for example today, 40% of the, of the light will be reflected back, and 60% will go through. This 60%, if there is waves on the surface of the sea, the waves breaks the light, and only half of it will go through. This half which goes through, People used to appreciate the, the surface waves of the sea, but they never know there is deep in the ocean, there is, there is another type of wave diff, uh, traveling in a different direction, which is called the sea current. And they travel by waves. And this goes in a different direction than the surface waves. And when the sunlight hits them, whatever remains from the sunlight, it will break whatever remains from this light. And deep in the ocean, there's a pitch dark, which they go discovered recently, that some fishes and things, they have, they have, they have a place of eyes, but they don't have kind of, they are not utilize the eyes, for example. And even they are trying to utilize the heat of the, of the uh, you know, of the, um, uh, of the floor of the ocean, rather than, you know, from the sunlight. Now the question is, and literally there, when you take your hand out of your pocket, or put it in front of you, the absence of light is literally, you cannot, you'll be unable to see. This is in a time people used to think that I could see by itself. Who taught Muhammad about this fact? Is it another coincidence? Let's, let's go more. Let's go more. Like, for example, what do you think people, they will know about the development of the fetus in the womb of the mother? How it developed? People, they have barely information about it. Now, God has well, as well mentioned in the Quran, in a clear statement as well, talking about the development of the fetus. That it was like a blood clot developed into what is similar to a leech, similar to the leech. And you could see here, yes? Here, look at it. This is the fetus. This is the embryo. And this is the leech. And God is saying it's like a leech, like hanging inside the womb, taking its provision, its food, and its sustaining from the mother, like the leech taking blood. Yeah, similar to this. Now and then, this leech developed into bones and this bone was covered with the flesh and this flesh was became human being who taught muhammad about it is it another coincidence all of these information and you could see the quran is full of this information all of this information was revealed 1400 years and quran never claimed to be science book but quran claims to be a book from god and it has scientific facts and as well quran has historical facts like for example even at that time, yeah, even at that time, huh? Yeah, all right, no problem. Uh, I appreciate it. Have this as well as a gift from us to you, you know, something for you to learn and something for you to understand more about Islam. And if you, all what we are requesting that is, open your heart and mind about to know what is Islam is about, 
and then you will you will you will you will know more. And then it comes from education. So Islam is not you know secluded religion. Islam is open for everyone to accept and to even to learn and to understand. And that's what we are promoting here. Yeah? All right, no problem. Thank you for coming. Anyway, may Allah Azza wa guide guide her and bring her to the guidance of Islam. And again, my brothers and sisters, wallahi, we are in need to promote Islam in the best way. We are in need to promote Islam. And we are in need to try our best to distribute whatever we can from the leaflets, from the, from the translated Quran to the people, for the people to learn about Islam. And Alhamdulillah, Allah Azza wa Jal, you know, God whomever he wish, tabarak wa ta'ala. But we have to put an effort as Muslims to promote Islam in the, in the maximum capacity that we can. SubhanAllah, nowadays many people, they wanted to know about Islam. So we should try our best to educate people. We should teach people what Islam is about. And, and in the best way as well, in the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah said in the Quran, Ud'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati wal mu'adati hasana. Call to the path of Allah with wisdom and with the right approach, with a nice, with a nice advice. Wajadilhum bil ihbiliti hasana. And discuss with them in the way which is better. That's what we want, inshaAllah ta'ala. Oh, we've got, we've got stuff. Yeah. Finished? Oh, no, it's all right. I'm happy uh, with the books. Yeah. Hello, uh, good hello, good evening. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are yeah, you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, so okay. Uh, what do you know generally about Islam? I know I know very little, actually. I'm okay. To say, but I'm, I'm going to... This is quite interesting. So. Yeah, it is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all, all through education and learning. So that's why Islam encourages people, actually, to read and to understand Islam. And that's why Quran, you'll find in the Quran, Many verses, many verses in the Quran say, for those who are ponder, for those who want it to know, for those who reflect, so you'll find many verses in the Quran repeating this concept to ponder and to think and to understand and to analyze. That's what the Quran is telling us. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. I, th I, I think you're questioning things, reading, very important. So yes. I, I support that message and uh, I look forward to reading this. Perhaps we can have a discussion yes, about no it. Yes, no problem. I, well, we're, we're here, we're here. Try to read, yes. and we are here every week. You could come and discuss with us, and we have no Perfect. problem here. All right, well, thank you. All right, look out there. All right, take care, take care, all right, take care. Okay, Alhamdulillah, we have many people coming, Alhamdulillah, to uh, to ask about Islam, and it's a uh, it's a blessing of Allah Azzal that Allah Azzal uses us to promote Islam. We ask Allah Azzal to increase us all in knowledge and iman, and we ask Allah Azzal to utilize us and use us. In the, to promote his deen and to promote the truth to the people. Wajazakumullah khayra. May Allah do all. And by the way, for, for all my brothers and sisters, inshallah ta'ala, please subscribe as well. I have my channel, which is SH Sheikh Muhammad Tarawni, SH dot Muhammad Tarawni, I think. That's what the brothers, they have, the brothers they have, uh, they are recording for me. Jazakumullah khair. So, and it's only just, you know, giving reminders on this channel. And we wanted this channel, inshallah ta'ala, to grow and uh, just to get to benefit so the people they will benefit from these reminders so please inshallah ta'ala subscribe to the channel inshallah ta'ala and uh, learn as well inshallah ta'ala and it, that's my channel is about education is about reminders that's all it's not i don't put any debate or things like this in it it's just only reminders and and uh, quoting hadith quoting certain things uh, from the quran or certain things from certain from scholars and wisdom that to quote from scholars that's why i Encourage my brothers and sisters inshallah ta'ala to subscribe to it and to inshallah ta'ala and to benefit from it inshallah ta'ala and I'm doing it for the sake of Allah. Jazakumullahu khairan all my brothers and sisters and bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.